Hello again and welcome back. In this video I will show you my latest creation, a huge DC power supply giving me maximum 50 volt and 4 kilowatt, which is 83 amps. As you can see it is built into this old HP mini tower and externally I think it looks very nice. The front panel of the PC is providing me connectors to all the equipment I currently plan to use this on, which is uh, my CNC and also my DIY lathe and as well the lathe control box and also the desk where the lathe is uh, going to be placed on, which is uh, which can be raised up or lower down electrically. There are also two instruments, one showing the maximum output voltage and the output current and the other one is showing the internal temperature. The temperature is not the only displayed value, it's also a safety feature. Uh, if uh, there will be any overheat then the mains will be cut off and the power supply will be shut down. I think such feature is necessary for anything with this high current or power capabilities. Okay, so let's have a look inside and see what's in the box. The heart of this power unit is based on four uh, HP server power supplies, each providing me a bit over 12 volt and 82 amps which is uh, which is 4 kilowatt because the power supplies are connected in series so the output voltage will be around 50 volt and 82 amps if you ever plan to do something similar and plan to connect server power supplies in series then you have to be aware of the fact that the ground is connected to the protective earth which is the casing of the power supply so uh, you have to separate that otherwise you will create a short circuit and you will never get 50 volt or anything uh, out of it except maybe blue smoke and fire Inside the box uh, there is also a fan controller. This uh, controller unit is able to control a total of three fans, uh, one with varying RPM and two with an RPM which you can set uh, using those potentiometers. I have one fan uh, installed uh, in front of the PC box and this one is sucking in air at the bottom of the, the mini tower box and the other fan is of course at the back of it and that's uh, sucking out the hot air. Each server power supply has its own uh, dual fans. Uh, I didn't change anything regarding those two. So uh, inside this uh, power unit box there are a total of 10 fans. On the main side I used the original cables and those are connected together inside that uh, white uh, electrical uh, connection box. This uh, will give me a high safety regarding the mains connection. I also have a separate 5 volt power supply inside the box 
and I went for this solution because according to my experience it's good to have a completely isolated 5 volt instead of using the one provided by the server power supplies. There is also a small relay card. This uh, relay is used for switching between uh, CNC mode and late mode. So in CNC mode the CNC controller is controlling the servo motor so that I can use the servo as a fourth axis, rotational axis. This is the circuit of, of the relay card. It's really extremely simple. Uh, it's just a four pole relay switching between user CNC A axis, which is my rotational axis, or the Arduino control box so that uh, only one of them will generate the step direction enable and the ground signals and send it to the, the servo motor. This way I can use it, uh, I can use the servo as a rotational axis or as a light. So that's, uh, that's basically, uh, it, it's basically very simple. This is the shunt resistor and is used for measuring the output current of the power supply. This one is for maximum 50 amps and I think that's going to be enough for my needs but otherwise I can change it to 100 amps if I would ever use more than 50. There are also two temperature sensors inside the box. One to display the temperature and to provide the overheat shutdown and the other one is for the, for controlling the fan speed. On each server PSU 12 volt output I have a ferret core also. This is how it looks like inside the box. Uh, the server PSUs are installed on two levels, so you can only see two of them here. And over the shunt resistor, you can also see two stepper drivers. These are for future connections, uh, once I have steppers on my lathe also. But right now these two are not connected. Okay, so it's time to close the lid and connect all the cables and do some quick tests. I think it looks quite nice with the lid closed. Uh, that old HP Pentium 4 case came to good use finally. So the unit is powered up and everything I can connect at the moment is connected. This is my old power supply for the CNC. It is now used for power distribution and just for the instruments. I chose this solution for the moment because uh, that was the easiest for me to do and also because uh, if the new power supply won't work as expected and I can easily just uh, go back to the old solution. This is the 180 watt servo motor I'm using as a spindle on my lathe.
Okay, let's start up everything and see how it uh, works out. This is the first time I fire up the CNC and uh, spindle of my DI vibrate at the same time from the same PSU. Everything seems to work fine at the moment, but I will continue to do some more testing with some real use cases before I permanently remove the old power supply. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video about my latest creation, this huge power supply providing 50 volt and 4 kilowatt. Thank you and goodbye and please don't forget to subscribe to my videos.